peeking around the corner to see what you young niggas doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not coming in the club with you, nigga. Don't even trip. You know what I'm saying? Don't even trip. You got y'all got it. You know what I'm saying? But let's talk about pillow talk. Get that pillow talk for a second. Like, what was that all about? I can't stand. Let me just break let's, it down from the beginning. Let's break it down. How the song was made. I can't stand a nigga that pillow talk about anybody's situation or about anybody to somebody else. You feel me? Somebody that just, man, hell no, nah, you shouldn't fuck with him. You should fuck with me. Or why you fucking with him? Because he doing this or doing that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. I looked you up. You know, I seen you. You did a project with Mexican OT, right? Mm -hmm. When we pull up, hopping out the car, lit out got me in the stool and on these shrooms he fucked up. Rock, got rock. Um, how did you and him even link up? We linked up. Um, I did a show. Um, this dude OCB, Flaco Flair, and so dude Frost. They had put together a show, and they was like, you know, we want you to do it. Like you hot, you know, you doing your little rap shit. Like, come on, you feel me? Like, I right, bet. So they let me do the show. They plugged me in with him. And when we got to chopping it up, he was like, he fucked with my music. And I got his number from there. Then I was like, hey, you want to get on the song? He was like, yeah. He was like, hell yeah, bro, you hard. So from there, he came to the studio. We got to chopping up more. And bro, real cool, you genuine, you feel me? So he was like, um, you know, cause you, whenever you ready to work, let's work. I'm like, shit, bet, you feel me? <laughs> so that felt good. Man, yeah. just talking like it. Just talking, sliding on who these niggas still walking, shooting at who I ain't your shit spark. Boom, 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 gang, put them in the coffin. I'm hoping all good flat. You did millions, y'all did millions of views here just recently. Like, mm -hmm. how that feel to you to, to really just rock out with him like that and to see the success of that? To be honest, bro, I'm still wrapping my head around the concept. Like, I check my phone, it'd be like 4.2 million streams on Apple Music, um, 5 million on um, on on Spotify. I just be like, Damn, like these this many people watch me for real. Yeah, that shit, <laughs> this that shit weird. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. But it's so, a blessing, right? Yes, sir. For real. Man, like like you you know, um I, I, you know, I, you know, the word got back to me, you know, I be watching everything. Uh mm -hmm. uh you done signed to uh Cash Money. Cash Money, Rick is Cash Money. Well that's big, big, man. Do you know I'm a, me and Birdman get on that phone together before too? And let me tell you something, man. <laughs> Nigga, you dealing with a real boss and some real money and some real, a real record label. This is not no game, nigga. This is good stuff to me. Like, mm -hmm. I was happy when I heard about it, but I was like, damn, that boy, that boy be hard, boy. They, they, they see something in that nigga because they think so far out mm -hmm. when they doing what they do. They don't just pick anybody. These niggas is really a slim and, and bird, man. Them niggas is focused, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That whole team focused. So you had to be, what was it like, like even signing and just, Saying I'm gonna make that plunge, bro. Like I said, like I still wrap my head around the concept myself. Like I was, bro. When I had my first conversation with Slim, I was in the trap. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I was just, you know, having that first conversation and just man, like I want you to be a part of the family. I'm like, damn, me, <laughs> like this, is me. You feel me? So like, you know, that shit felt good, bro. Like I still gotta wake up and hit my knees. Thank God for that, cause you know this is just the beginning, bro. It definitely still, just the grind. beginning. So. In a minute, you know, it's going to be up here. But, you know, we got to work our way up there, you feel me? So, Well, because, you know, just because you sign, people don't realize that they get it twisted. You got to now put that work in and show that you deserve to be in that position. Exactly. And I think a lot of times people take it lightly and just because they feel like, man, you know, uh, I sign, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times you, you see people missing in action because they don't apply themselves or they don't know how to maneuver in that world. And they don't even want to talk about that part. They think that just because you signed to a label, that's going to do the whole job. But it's a lot of work to come behind it, like you mm -hmm. said. So I agree with you totally. You know what I'm saying? So when you think about like uh, just just the whole, you did work. You got some with GSO Fat too. Yeah, I got a few songs with GSO. Few, Fat. Yeah, early on or, or how long ago did you guys? Um, work I got it after after I shot. Um, after it was after I signed. It was like after I shot the um, Pillow Talk song with. Okay. Me and him I locked in. Pillow we Talk. went to Atlanta together. Sixteen hour drive. Wow. Just locked in, chopped it up, everything. You feel me? Yeah. Like real solid, genuine. 
Nigga wow. funny as hell too. Of course, we done had him on here a couple of times. I love the fact that his energy is. He just yeah. be wilding out. That nigga wild out. That's what he go do. You know what I'm saying? I came down there. I think he introduced me to Lil Chad. Shout out Lil Chad. Mm-hmm. You know, like all that. That whole little old circle, man. I love to see all them. You know, see everybody just getting to it. I'm one of them guys that just peeking around the corner to see what you young niggas doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not coming in the club with you, nigga. Don't even trip. You know what I'm saying? Don't even trip. You got y'all got it. You know what I'm saying? But let's talk about pillow talk. Got that pillow talk for a second. Like, what was that all about? I can't stand. Let me just break let's, it down from the beginning. Let's break it down. How the song was made. I can't stand a nigga that pillow talk about anybody's situation, about anybody to somebody else. You feel me? Somebody that just, man, hell nah, you shouldn't fuck with him. You should fuck with me. Or why you fucking with him? Because he's doing this or doing that. Like, prime example, um, when I signed my deal, you know, it was niggas around here saying, he 360, he this or that. First off, you don't know how much I signed for my nigga. And for you to be speaking on that to somebody else, nigga, that just show, like, you you a whole group. Like, you a whole fan. Like, what you worry about my pockets for? I'm straight, you feel me? I don't even be trying to be cocky or none of that. Like, I just be chilling, but it's just the fact that something like that will get back to me. But I got to understand now, like, you know. That's stuff that's gonna happen. It's gonna be people like that. You feel me? So, hmm, I just all came about. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you better wake your ass up on ball talk. You know what I'm <laughs> so, how the, so how the so how the song came about? I'm just like I went in, then I'm hearing it. I'm hearing the beat. The beat talking to me. I'm like. He niggas pillow talk to bitches, huh? Like, we don't stand on business, yeah. You can die for that if you were citing shit we didn't, yeah. Then I just, you know, I went from there, you feel me? Then I'm like, bro, uh, the the people I hear on here the most, at first, I the, the person I heard on there the most was um OT and my boy Rose. I'm talking about Rose so hard, you feel okay, me? Okay, okay. And, you know, I got introduced to my boy Baby K, Baby K Osama. Okay. So I'm like, you know, like, I'm um I'm gonna let me since since me and Baby K just met, you get what I'm saying? Uh huh. And we on this rap shit, like I'm gonna go ahead and let him get on here. You feel me? Because me and Rose got a bunch of songs. We actually got a whole little tape. Okay. You feel me? I don't want to talk. That's what's called. I don't want to talk. It's gonna be coming soon. I gonna see that. Okay. I heard okay. It from me first. You feel uh, yeah, me? nigga, let it out the bag on both talk. Why <laughs> yeah. not? Let him so, be known. You because my boy too hard. Like yeah, got it him. You feel yeah, me? yeah. Rose for sure. So um, like I'm gonna ahead and put him on here. Then baby K shredded that motherfucker. Then OT backdoored him. I'm like, yeah, this is too hard. You Man. feel me? <laughs> That's crazy that you and OT got this relationship like that because he grow, he blowing up like crazy right now too. So it's just crazy the way, you know, things work. Sometimes the atmosphere just lock things into place, boy. And you just mm-hmm. in the right place at the right time and making, you know, making it work but you know the thing is to keep it going and keep working like you said it's just the beginning so at the end of the day it's crazy man yeah we on boss talk one-on-one yeah we gonna talk